everyone, I'm Shimmer and welcome to the first video in my new series, Noobing in Nern, a beginner's guide to Elder Scrolls Online. In this first video of the series, we're going to be talking about ESO's buy to play model, the different purchasing options of Elder Scrolls Online, and the ESO Plus membership and what it gives you. There will be time clicks below, so if you want to skip over some parts, you can. So be sure to check out the About section for those. There will also be links to the next episodes as I make them to help you along your way in the, your adventures in Tamriel. So before we can get our feet wet in Tamriel, you're first going to have to purchase the game. So we're going to head on over to ElderScrollsOnline.com and check out those different options that we have. Now Elder Scrolls Online is a buy to play model, meaning you purchase it once and you can play the game. There is no monthly subscription required, however there are some benefits to having uh, the ESO Plus membership, which is what they call their monthly subscription, and I'll go over those later in the video. First we're going to take a look at the purchasing options. Elder Scrolls Online has had several downloadable content add-ons since launch, and these are called DLCs. These DLCs are uh, basically content add-ons or game packs that are add-ons to the basic standalone game uh, that give you access to new maps, new content, and new fun things to do. Uh, these will not be accessible with the base version of the game and must be purchased separately or in a version of the game that includes them. Knowing about these DLCs ahead of time will help determine which version of the game that you purchase. So let's take a look at the different options that are available. So first things first, we're going to navigate to ElderScrollsOnline.com and as of the making of this video, you'll be greeted with this image and we're going to click on Buy Now. And this will take you to a page with the different pack options. You'll see a drop down box with all the different uh, packs available and uh, across the top here you'll see the different platforms. You'll have PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, so you'll click your appropriate platform. And this first package is called the ESO Standard Edition. This will be the base bare bones game and will include none of the DLCs. So if you're looking at just getting your feet wet and kind of want to test out the game before you commit to any of the DLCs, this will be the pack for you. The next option on the list will be the ESO Gold Edition and this will be the base game plus four DLCs, uh, Imperial City DLC, Orsinium, Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood. So purchasing this option would mean you don't have to purchase them separately via the Crown Store and you'll have access to them immediately when you log in. Another benefit to purchasing this particular pack is you'll get a Palomino horse. Uh, so you'll be able to have a mount immediately when you log in, uh, which is another great benefit. So you don't have to purchase it in game with gold because uh, when you first start the game, getting gold is actually pretty hard. So uh, that is the gold edition. Elder Scrolls Online has had one major expansion since launch, and that was the Morrowind expansion. Uh, with Morrowind, it brought us a new class, uh, the Warden, 4v4v4 PvP battlegrounds, along with new content, dungeons, and trials. Now the way it differs from a DLC is you will not be able to purchase it in the Crown Store, and must be purchased as an additional um, upgrade to an existing account. Um, it differs from a DLC because, again, it brought us the new class, the battlegrounds, um, a new um, starter area, and um, you will not have access to any of this unless you purchase a pack that includes the Morrowind expansion. So these next packs will include uh, that expansion. Your first Morrowind option will be the ESO Morrowind upgrade. And this is for people that already own the game and would like to upgrade their current Elder Scrolls account to include the Morrowind expansion. So if you already own the game and want access to the Morrowind area, this is the option that you will choose. Uh, this does not include the base game and it's just the upgrade to your current uh, Elder Scrolls account. The next option on the list will be the ESO Morrowind Edition. This will be the option you'll want to choose if you don't own the game at all and would like access to both um, Elder Scrolls base game plus the Morrowind expansion, giving you access to the Warden class immediately when you start playing. Um, you won't be able to make a Warden until you purchase a Morrowind expansion pack, so keep that in mind. Um, but this will include the base game plus the Morrowind expansion and will not include any of the DLCs, so keep that in mind. 
The next couple options will be what's called collector's editions, and these will include a discovery pack in them, which are basically some extra freebies. Your first option is going to be the ESO Morrowind D Digital Collector's Edition Upgrade. And this will not include the base game and are for people who already purchased the base game and would like to upgrade their current account to an, a Morrowind expansion account. It'll include all these extra freebies, um, the costume, the pets, um, another mount, and you'll have some treasure maps to go hunt for, experience scrolls, so a lot of extra perks for purchasing the collector's edition upgrade. Um, the, again, this is for people who already own the base version. The next will be um, the option for those who don't have the base version of the game and want to have the game, the Morrowind expansion, along with the uh, discovery pack that will give you the extra perks. So you'll get the same perks uh, in the, as the last pack, um, but it'll also include the base version of the game. So if you really want to start out well in Tamriel and um, know you're going to stick around for a while. This is a really good deal. Um, you're going to get some costumes, a nice fancy mount, some treasure maps, and those treasure maps actually have some really good stuff. Um, the last pack is um, the physical collector's edition box and this is something that would be mailed to you. And in this pack um, I don't think there's many of them left, so I'm actually on, uh, honestly surprised it's still available here. But um, uh, it'll include um, the base game, the Morrowind expansion, and you're going to get um, this statue, a book of art, um, a nice fancy box, a map, and you'll get that discovery pack as well. So um, this is, um, this is uh, for those that like the physical stuff. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is the ESO Plus membership and what benefits it offers. Now one of the main benefits it offers is access to the DLC game packs. If you didn't purchase the DLC game packs individually or purchase them in a pack that included um, those with the game, uh, by being an ESO Plus member you will automatically have uh, access to those areas. So if you don't want to purchase them individually and just kind of want to try them out, you can purchase a uh, monthly subscription and go check them out and see if you want to purchase them. For me, I don't purchase them individually. I'm just, I've been subbed since um, there was a subscription option. So I just um, pay the one-time monthly sub and have access to all the DLC areas. You also have access to more crafting storage. Um, the crafting storage is excellent. Um, basically anytime you pick up anything that is a crafting item it sticks it into its own individual crafting bag and you never even have to see it unless you go into it to pull something out. Just so you can get an idea of the amount of storage the crafting bag is, uh, here it is right here and as you can see it literally goes on forever and it holds every crafting item. So for me that makes ESO Plus worth it just for this bag. You also get the equivalent amount of uh, of that of the monthly sub cost in crowns per month. So you'll get fifteen hundred crowns per month that you can spend in the store on mounts, pets, um, and uh, basically you know XP scrolls, things like that. Uh, you also get extra bank space and a ten percent increase to gold and experience gain, um, crafting experience, and trait research. You'll also have double uh, the amount of space for furniture in your, in your um, player homes and collectibles in your player homes. Uh, so that means you can place more furniture down and show off more trophies than a normal player. Uh, you'll also have uh, costume dyeing available. So if you don't like the color of your outfit or if you want to dye it hot pink, you sure can because you'll have ability to costume dye with the member benefits. And that's it for now guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed or if it helped you out. And stay tuned for future ep episodes of My Noobing and Nern, A Beginner's Guide to Elder Scrolls Online. And have a great day!